Page 109, the 12 bar blues. Well, there's some interesting things here. This is going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. You wait and see. At the top of the page, they introduce you to the 12 bar blues. Now, we've already talked about primary chords. The 1, the 4, and the 5, 7 chord, or the 1, the 4, and the 5. If you don't want to do the 7th, you do the 5. 5, 7, you can leave off the 7th and just do a 5. Are you confused yet? Oh, I'll come back to those. They're introducing a new symbol called a natural sign. I want to talk about that. The natural sign is the third of the three most common accidentals. We've already had a flat sign and we've had a sharp sign. Now we get the natural sign. There are more accidentals, but they're not used that much. No. These three are used a lot. A natural sign simply takes away the sharp or flat. It makes it a white key on the piano, a natural key. That's all it does. You see in this piece, 12 bar blues in the last line, there in the first measure, that you have a B flat followed by a B natural. You see the flat would be good for the rest of the measure. So if they want to be natural, they have to do this natural, to put a natural sign in and that takes away the flat. Now, if they would wait until the next measure, you would need a natural sign because it would be a natural anyway. But the, the here, you, it, you need the flat. Same thing with the next, next measure, an A flat, and then they want an A natural. So they got to put a natural sign in because it's in the same measure. And the rule for naturals is the same as the others. It applies from that point on for the rest of the measure, but only that measure and only that staff. Now let's talk 12 bar blues thing in these primary chords. I said early on, a long time ago, I'm sure you remember, ah, that a measure and a bar is the same thing. You can call them measures or you can call them bars. It doesn't matter. Because a measure line can also be called a bar line. I'm liable to call it either one. So a 12 bar blues is simply talking about 12 measures of a type of music called blues. Because we got classical and ragtime and honky tonk and jazz and blues and swing and rock music. We got all kinds of music. Blues is a type of music. Okay. It has its own scale, a blues scale. I don't really teach it, but there are method books on blues if you want to. I covered one somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's, but the, it covers the blues scale. So 12 bars means 12 measures of blues and it is a set pattern. It is a set chord progression. So if you want to write blues, you can follow this pattern. You'll be fine. And that is, they give it a list there, you get four measures of the one chord. So this is in key of C major. Okay, so I'm going to get four measures of C chord. Well, let's look at this piece. The first four measures, you see the left hand? It's all C chord. So, okay, we did that. Then you get two measures of four chord, which in this case would be in one, two, three, four. That'd be an F chord. You get two measures of that. And if you look at this piece, you'll see the first two measures of the second line. That's an F chord. Then you get two measures of one chord again. Then you get one measure of five chord, which is the G chord. If you look down at the last line, the first measure, that's the five chord. Then one measure of four chord, and two measures of one chord. That's the chord progression for a 12 bar blues. They all follow it. And if you want it to be longer than that, you simply repeat it. You, you just go through the progression again. Now there's minor little changes we can make to this, but that's that's what we're trying to get across. Get this. Four measures of one, two measures of four, two measures of one, and then it's a one, one, and two of the five, four, and the one chord. That's the pattern. And it's the primary chords. The one, the four, and the five chord. Now typically blues uses seventh chords throughout. As I said, you know, keeping it simple, because there's already, well, typically you wouldn't just get a one chord or a four chord, you'd get a one seven chord or a four seven chord or five seven. They use seventh chords throughout, typically. We're not going to go there. We're just going to stick with these chords for now. So let's look this over. Three lines long or 12 measures. We already established that. Treble and bass clef. We already know we're in the key of C major. We talked about that four four time. 
and we got accidentals. So I'm going to kind of take both hands at the same time because all the left hand is doing is the chords, the primary chords in C major. So you're here to start, but you're going to be moving around because of the chords. All right, so bring the thumb down, that's fine, and then a B flat, and then you, you just lift up and move. There's no rest, just lift up and move. And as that plays, you, you move the right hand. And then back down here, and as that plays, Last line, you're here. It's two on the B flat because I need. I'm going to play B natural, so I can't do it here. I mean, I can, but it's not comfortable. So I'm going to use two on the B flat, so I can save three for the B natural. The F come down in the right hand, and then It works out. As far as the articulation goes, you're lifting up for the phrasing, but you get rests in the right hand for that, so that's okay. Dynamics, really it applies to the right hand more. The left hand just plays it more to hold it out. Fast blues and slow blues and different kinds of blues. You got to get into the blues. You got to start feeling it. And we'll hopefully they'll do some more blues later on. But at least this introduces you to the 12 bar blues pattern. Yeah. Let's play this together slowly and double check our notes. I don't think the rhythm's a problem, but the notes. So I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. Three, four, one. 